Guys, welcome back again to Health Focus. This is a platform where we have all discussions concerning health. Press the subscription button below and join the family. Ensure that you are able to get a notification once we upload a new video. And comment down below if there is anything we need to improve or work on. Welcome and let's go through the end to see if there is something we can do different in the various nations we are representing. In the nation Kenya currently, we are experiencing very heavy downfall. And what do we expect when there is downfall? Most of the time, we will need healthcare services again. Then we come next to the issue that is so pressing, the doctor's strike. It has stretched for weeks and weeks and weeks. And our prayer is that a solution will be settled very soon. So in all these issues, and when we talk about health system strengthening, I was asking and I've been asking all our guests, what will they do different if today the health docket is put under their jurisdiction? Here is a collection of their responses. If today we give William a chance to head the health docket in this country, where will be your focus? Okay, my focus, and um, that's actually a very good question because it's something that I've always thought about. Um, my focus would be on primary care. We discuss primary care, primary health care on a daily basis. Mm. And in specific, something that I would really love to see change mm. is for us to just have a central emergency number. Yeah. It beats logic to have a Red Cross having their own emergency number, St. John having their own, Ambref having their own, uh, Rescue or Flare having their own. But that's doable. It's just complicated. Like, so. I'm, I'm even asking right now, mm -hmm. viewers, that's possible. Like, get those uh, CEO board members mm -hmm. together. Mm -hmm. and let's, but you know, it's because everybody's working as an entity, it's a profit yeah. working organization. Exactly. So if we could get. Uh, the emergency medical services to be a bit more centralized then i feel we would be at a much better place because we would have maybe just have a single number maybe even a number like 999 because 999 does it yes work? they do exist and they do work yes they do work they actually work but now problem is they go to the police yeah that's what i thought with police evacuate <laughs> does it have an evacuation emergency no no they do not now the police will give you another number ah which wastes a lot of time. Allow me to show my ignorance because <laughs> I think my life has been in, in hospital care. I've never thought about pre-hospital care management mm. and I think there is such a huge learning curve to mm. get from the pre-hospitalization. We might even think we're just hospitals. Yes, actually a lot because uh, we have cases in which people go to hospitals for situations which would just have been sorted out by EMTs and paramedics. Mm -hmm. We have situations whereby in most hospitals, we don't even do triage. In Kenya, it's on a first come, first serve basis. Yeah. But when you're doing a triaging, you realize that there's somebody who's on the queue at number two, but they're just having a flu. They just need to go home and hydrate. Mm -hmm. But there's another person at the back who is having, say, a pulmonary embolism mm -hmm. or even mm -hmm. suffering mm -hmm. a stroke, but uh, they are just on the line because it's a first come for some basis. So if you can implement things like triage, if you can be able to get more pre-hospital care providers on board, yes. then I feel there can be a lot of change. Wow. Because in situations like, say, cardiac arrest, if somebody is having a sudden cardiac arrest, it is not about how good of an insurance cover you have or how close you stay to an hospital. No, no, no. It is about what is going to happen in those first few minutes Yeah, before you get to the hospital. So if we can get somebody calling an ambulance. Mm. When you call the emergency numbers, you have an emergency medical dispatcher. That person not only dispatches an ambulance to you, but, but they are the also hospital. informing the hospital and they're also giving you pre-arrival instructions. So what can you do as you wait for this ambulance to arrive? You need to resuscitate, do it. This will keep this person alive as the ambulance tries to navigate through the traffic. That's a huge... Wow, CS. Mm. You've had <laughs> everybody in the ministry, I hope you've had every service provider, all the members of EMT Council. That's what it's called? The Kenya Council the of Kenya Emergency Council. Medical Technicians. Yes, mm. you have had. If we can centralize this care, the police 
also need emergency care. They don't provide the emergency care. So right now, um, if somebody picks Feni, for example, and tells Feni now today, you are heading a county in healthcare or you are heading the country in healthcare, what will be your main focus? Okay. My main, main focus will be mindset shift, trainings, trainings and trainings to, 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 to make people understand or embrace the concept of quality management. Okay. Then now I bring in the other aspects of quality. Because, you know, Amy, most people really don't understand, you know, what is quality improvement. To do trainings and support them and, and enforce it after getting trained. Yes. So if today the government has just decided to say Stella head the health sector in the nation, where will your focus be on? I will focus on primary healthcare. Because I am a believer, I'm a firm believer of uh, if you identify issues early and I'm a firm believer of preventive more than curative because we shall curb issues that get into a curative. Most of the things that we are spending so much capital and financing in curative, where else we can use a small amount of these finances into preventive. So I would really focus on primary health care. And of course, I'm in the health eye care space, so more of primary eye care. Uh, just to ensure that there's early identification that people are living right and so that you do not progress, diseases do not progress. There's early identification, early treatment, and so results are good. Wow. If, if the government of Kenya today picks Dr. Stanley to tell him now this docket of health in these countries. Amen, 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 amen. Right now, now CS Nakumicha has already overtaken what I was supposed to. I would just go there. I would just, she has seen she's not going to be due with the Cuba. <laughs> Contracts. <laughs> that would be the first thing because I feel I actually joined my colleague uh, and so on after David when my colleague went to court to say there's no way you can invite foreigners when they are Kenyans who are not employed and pay them better when they are Kenyans. So I joined on the strength that if I was given the same package that you're giving the Cuban consultants, I would probably leave my job and come. Probably no one has known that, but I remember signing that David and sending it to Dr. Misango. Of course, the court threw it out on. No, Dr. Misango, the urologist, he's the one who had taken the, the case to court. Eh? He took the government to court for bringing the Cuban doctors. But anyway, that is what under the bridge. What I would like to do if I was CS would really, really to be to lobby the Council, for, the Council of Governors to lobby all the players in the sector to move the human resources for health back to the national level and have the money under centralized body like the service commission or something like that i have spoken about it i have written about it i've written about it in a peer reviewed article i feel that the devolution for health should have left human resources for health at the center or at the, at the, at the central level because if devolution had happened before probably i wouldn't have gone to transmara and if Transmara doesn't have enough doctors, yeah. so then we're going to go to Transmara. So what happens is you might get to a situation where you have one doctor in, in, in Samburu County or two doctors in Samburu County and 4,000 doctors in Nairobi. Yes, when, right. when you're talking about universal health coverage, you're talking about care of the populations based on their needs without exposing them to financial hardship. And therefore, if all the populations are not catered for properly, you get all the Nairobians of everyone, but the other Kenyans are just languishing in need. So we need to bite the bullet and take that bold move. It's not gonna be easy, but I think it's something that I will do as the first one of priority. Oh no, somebody's listening and they're hard and they're not. Are you? Today, somebody says now, I is the PS or CS of health in this nation, where will be your focus? Oh, I believe having, first of all, having to get things right in mm -hmm. terms of what is ailing the healthcare sector. So you will go to the root causes? You have to get to the, you know, when you treat the symptoms, mm -hmm. then the problem remains underlying. Yes. So what is ailing the healthcare? Uh -huh. And how can you be able to address 
the issues that aim the healthcare system so that we have everybody towing towards the right direction. Mm-hmm. And I think most of uh, the public sector, we have a lot of culture change issues. That, yeah, culture change issues that you want needs to trend, mm. change. Yes. Decondition you the culture. Decondition, you reform it. Yes, for sure. So that we have people who think quality, who mm-hmm. think health, quality healthcare service, mm-hmm. and you know, and uh, knowing why they are there, mm-hmm. not because you are brought there by so and so. For sure. And, and I think this culture change, I would really, as as you said, as a PS or as a CS. I would really want that culture change to start from the training facilities. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Let us get people out there mm-hmm. who have the right culture mindset, mm-hmm. the, the right mindset of why they are going there. Mm-hmm. Because sometimes you look at uh, the quality of trainees the quality that of they trainees. have. Even in health information management, yes, we need to have people who understand why they are getting into that profession, mm. what is the right culture and attitude you need to have mm. for you to be able to add value to the profession? So if today you were to sit down with the CS Health mm-hmm. and they ask you one very question as a common man, the way you've called yourself, what areas in healthcare you need, will you desire to see them improved? Um, I think when it comes to cancer treatment, we need to maybe try other avenues. As much as, you know, this is what doctors have learned and that is what they'll give us. Mm -hmm. But there are other people outside there who are working with other things that are working. So as much as, (laughs) so as much as, and there's God. In all these things, there's God. Yes. So for me, maybe mine is a miracle because maybe there are people who also went through what I did, but they didn't make it. Make it. Mm-hmm. But for me, all I can say, it is God. Yeah. So to, to you, you will tell the CS to also accommodate other medicine. Yes. To see what works or what doesn't work. Yeah. Wow. If today you are given a chance to meet the CS or just give information or just you have something you need to communicate concerning health matters, what will that be? If I were given that uh, opportunity, I would like ask them to go and benchmark out there. What are people doing differently? Yes, this, this alternative medicine, how, how can we also buy into it? So that our people can 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 benefit. For sure. Yes. For sure. Yes. I want to pose a question to you. This will be a final one. Yes. If today Nakumicha resigns and the government appoints Mary as the head of health in the country, mm-hmm. where will your focus be on? Uh, generally, I would focus on the well-being of the patient mm-hmm. and the well-being of the uh, the the carer. That is the nurses and other body disciplinary that are there. Mm-hmm. But having been a wood care nurse and seeing the output of appropriate food care, I would advise the nursing program through the nursing council to bring this topic as part of the training so that all nurses when they are coming from the college, they can be able to handle the most complex wood comfortably on an easy way because they are knowledgeable. You know what I've understood and actually from you is mm. review the nursing training curriculum. Yes. Review the nursing training curriculum, yeah. develop adequate human resources. If not that, we have a uh, a bigger program than, than we are having. At the moment, we are having a certificate level where we are taking people three months, but we are on the process of thinking of a diploma training or maybe beyond mm. diploma training. Mm. Yes. 
or it becomes a post-graduate. Yeah.